Hey everybody, welcome to Pragmatic Design. Today I'm going to be introducing a plugin for Sketch called Sketch Preview. And what this plugin does, it allows you to preview any of your artboards inside Sketch uh, live on any iOS or Android device. There's a similar uh, app for Sketch called Sketch Mirror, which does basically the same thing. But the plugin I'm going to be showing you today has a couple of advantages over uh, Sketch Mirror. The first being it's absolutely free. Whereas Sketch Mirror costs five dollars to download from the App Store. Uh, the second being that you can preview your designs on both iOS and Android devices. Sketch Mirror only allows you to preview your designs on iOS, and according to the developers, there's a lack of uh, demand, so there's no plans for them to introduce an Android version of Sketch Mirror. So let's get started. Okay, so as you can see here. I have a few layouts in Sketch that I've create, uh, basically recreated from a HTML5 template I found for free online for Tesla. And I'm going to use these artboards to display them on both an iPhone 6 and an, an iPad. So I have the uh, various sizes here. The first thing I need to do in order to be able to preview this on my devices is to download the plugin itself. So if we head over to the GitHub repository for this plugin, it's called Sketch Preview. Add here. And this uh, plugin is created by a developer named, I think his name's Marcus Schweiden. Mark Schwiedermann. So I'm guessing a German guy. So first thing we need to do, we'll download the zip file here. And after we download that, uh, we head to our download folder. And we'll unzip this. And we'll need to move this all these files into our sketch plugins folder so the easiest way to do that is head over to sketch and then click this plugins menu here and then reveal plugins folder that will bring up the folder here so you'll see I already have it installed here so what you need to do is just drag it from your downloads folder into this folder here and then that's that's it and then you also need to completely close out of sketch and restart it in order to be able to use it so I'll restart sketch and I'll open up Okay, it looks like I forgot to name this, but that's okay. And um, there's one more piece of software that will allow us to talk to our devices from our Mac. So, and that one's called uh, Scala Preview. So we also need to download it and install that. So, Scala Preview. And I'll put a link to this in the description. So you'll need to download this for OS X, sorry, OS 10. You also need to download it for uh, each of the devices that you want to install it on. So if you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you'll download it for iOS, and then any Android device, you'll download it from the Play Store. Uh, once Scala Preview is installed on each of the, your devices, you're ready to preview them on the devices themselves. So it's actually quite easy. What you want to do is you want to make sure that Scala Preview is open both on your Mac and on the device you want to test it on. And then inside of Scala Preview on your device you want to make sure that you're on the same Wi-Fi network otherwise it won't work 
So make sure you can see that uh, in the bottom hand or the bottom left hand corner on the app version, you'll see a computer icon. You want to click that and make sure it's connected to the same network. Once you do that, all you need to do is select the artboard that you want to preview and then um, hit Command P. And that will preview it on your device. Now, um, you'll notice that when I did the preview for the the iPad version of my design, that it was too small. You'll notice that it didn't fill the entire uh, dimensions of the screen, and that's because in Sketch um, for the iPad template, they're using 1024 by 768. Uh, whereas my iPad is a Retina device, so I need to scale it up to twice the uh, pixel density. And the way to do that is, in the plugin is to hit uh, Command Option P, and that will bring up your uh, Sketch Preview Options dialog. So for me, since I want to scale this uh, twice as big, I'll scale to explicit size and then choose 2x and once I do that save that and then I click on make sure I have my artboard selected and then when I hit command P again and I preview it on my device it will be the full width so yeah uh, that's about all there is to it being able to test your designs and how they'll look on an actual device is extremely uh, useful for usability testing. It will let you know if your fonts are too small, if the target areas for your buttons are big enough, or just overall how your layout comes together when looking at on the device itself. Um, I hope that you found this video useful. I know I use this plugin all the time at work during my day job, and actually I'll be creating a new video where I'll show you how you can preview your designs on any device without using any kind of special plugin like we did today. Uh, it's a little bit more technical, but it will allow you to test not only on iOS, Android, uh, yeah, iOS and Android, but also the red-headed stepchild of the mobile platform, Windows Phone, and even something like BlackBerry. So uh, stay tuned, and thank you for watching.